talking points, talking points, talking points. This bright idea in public speaking is about creating talking points to guide your speech. In the traditional public speaking classroom, these will be your main points in your outline. These main points I'm calling your talking points. For most speeches, two to five main points are the norm. I suggest you boil that down to three main points, three talking points. Let's say you're giving a speech on a topic near and dear to my heart, backyard chickens. And you're gonna give this speech to people in Gainesville who are interested in keeping chickens in their own backyard, at their home, in the city. Think, what are the three most important things that I wanna to communicate to my audience? I know when I first explored getting chickens to keep at my house in the city, I wanted to know the rules. Can you keep chickens? How many? What kinds? Are there rules? In fact, there are. And I learned that the hard way when my little chicks turned out to be very loud roosters who would crow at 3 a.m. in the morning. Needless to say, after a trip to traffic court where the very nice judge asked me if crowing roosters was my rock band, I now know a lot more about the Gainesville City Ordinances, or rules, for owning chickens in the city. In this case, no roosters allowed. During that experience, I researched all the city ordinances on chickens, and that expertise I gained in that research, along with my own experience, gives me a lot of credibility on the topic. From that experience, I would craft a main point or a talking point like this. In the city of Gainesville, you can own up to 10 female chickens, hens, that do not make noises that disturb your neighbors. Notice it's a complete sentence. There are a lot of other rules and I can elaborate on those in my subpoints, even citing the ordinance as supporting evidence, but for now I have my first talking point. So what's next? I'm anticipating that many people in my audience don't have chickens or else they wouldn't be attending my talk. That reminds me of what I know about raising chickens from my own experience and it leads to my next talking point. Having healthy hens in North Central Florida comes down to choosing the right breed building good shelter, and good nutrition. Again, I can elaborate on the three ideas in this talking point and subpoints with supporting evidence. For example, I can share information about which breeds do the best in the heat. I can talk about the most practical type of chicken coops, and I can discuss what kind of feed I use and why. Note that this entire talking point could be a speech in itself. But now I have two talking points, rules about chickens, and care of healthy hens. I still need to add a third talking point. And from my experience with chickens, which gives me credibility as a speaker, I know a lot about chicken predators. We have a humane trap where we capture possums, coons, and all other varieties of neighborhood wildlife that come to eat and dine on veggie scraps and eggs, and sometimes even our chickens. Given that personal experience, my third talking point might look something like this. Protecting your flock from predators is the biggest challenge in raising backyard chickens. I can then discuss the techniques I use to keep furry neighborhood friends from eating my backyard flock. So now my speech has three main talking points. The first one, in the city of Gainesville, you can own up to 10 female chickens that do not make noises that disturb your neighbors. The second one, having healthy hens in North Central Florida comes down to choosing the right breed, building good shelter, and good nutrition. And finally, protecting your flock from predators is the biggest challenge in raising backyard chickens. Or more simply, rules about chickens, care of healthy hens, and how to stop predators. With those three talking points drafted, I'm ready to start researching and writing my speech. But first, maybe you wanna try connecting these talking points into a purpose for your speech. There's an easy way to come up with a purpose for your speech, and I'll give it to you. Try finishing this sentence. I'm here today to inform my audience about. So for my speech, for my chicken speech, I'm here to teach you how you can have healthy backyard hens safely and legally in the city of Gainesville. Remember, you can always change your talking points and purpose as you're researching and revising your speech, but having the points 
can make researching and writing your speech a lot easier. Because really, the one thing that the audience really wants to know is what is your point? Why are you speaking? In my next video, I'll tell you how to turn your talking points into a one-minute elevator pitch that summarizes your speech.